G'day guys, welcome to the episode. Most of you guys know from Instagram that I am moving to Wollongong to go to uni there. And that means finishing up working here at Complete Angle Batemans Bay. I'll still be working here in holidays and stuff when I can, but I won't be here full time and instead of me, you'll be seeing Anthony. I just want to say a big thanks to Anthony for everything he does for me and for you guys as well. He helped me with the giveaways and we'll probably do some more in the future and he always give me free stuff, cheap stuff and just helps me out in offshore adventures a lot. So thanks Anthony. No worries Harry, and because you're uh, going to uni, he'll be drinking plenty of beer, so he's a complete angler, let's go fishing. I didn't know that. that wasn't planned. There you go. <laughs> that was in the script. <laughs> Cheers. If you guys are in the Bay, Batemans Bay area or around, or even other Dulla, you know, come into Complete Angler Batemans Bay, even if it's just for advice, Anthony's going to help you out here. And you might even see me, if it's in the holidays, right time, you might see me here. And just stuff other shops can't give advice or discounts and all that stuff you know everything's here it might be a little shop but it is just chock a block chock a block full of stuff and you know he's an awesome bloke and everyone who comes in here you know always gets discounts and he helps them out so yeah thanks anthony and thanks in advance to everyone who's going to come in here from this video cheers Heather. and this is kind of the start i want to show you like a move into uni moving to wollongong and just diving in wollongong kind of video but yeah this is the end of me Full time here in Batemans Bay, but yeah, we might see you around. Ew. Who's that pretty boy? Right now I'm exporting my Tasmania trip and packing for uni, I'm leaving tomorrow. I was gonna leave Sunday, but I decided to leave Saturday instead for an extra day. And I just picked my tutorials and stuff. And I know how many of you guys have been to uni, but that was the biggest pain in the ass of my life. It just oh, made me so angry, but I'm not gonna talk about it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are even interested in knowing this, but I am moving out onto campus and I'm getting it catered because I just want my first year to be stress-free, you know. I wanted to not worry about having to do grocery shopping and all that and just have my dinner cooked for me and pay a bit extra but, you know, just stress-free. If I want to go diving, I can. Don't have to worry about making dinner, buying dinner, doing all that. So yeah, a bit simple. I'm taking my dive stuff up to uni because I do want to dive, I do want to meet new people, I do want to dive with new people, I do want to dive new spots, it's one of my favourite things to do is dive new ground, shoot new fish and yeah I'm keen to meet all you legends up there. So I'm taking my dive here, I don't know how I'm going to dry it yet and do all that stuff, there should be a good place at uni hopefully but yeah we'll work that out when we're there so yeah dive stuff's definitely going up, camera gear, um, maybe surfboard, we'll see but yeah for now I'll just take the dive stuff up and all the essentials. Dive stuff is an essential for me anyway. Welcome to university. This is my room. Little, this is back to boarding school vibes. Little single bed, little desk. Got my surfboard, got the clothes and stuff, still unpacking. I went out last night and, whew, big night. And I think it's going to be a big night for the next week, for a week. So, yeah, <laughs> I'll try and keep editing because I need to get those Tassie edits done. Good little spot, it's a bit hot, not going to lie, but the room itself, it's not too bad, you know. Single bed's not too bad and have space, my surfboard and all my dive gear and all my camera gear, so it's good and I can wash all that stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. Alright guys, long time no see. As you can hear, I'm still pretty sick. I was sick for about two weeks, still a little bit sick, and I ended up going home after a week. It's my third week here now. Obviously I missed about a whole week. Anyway, I'm charging my drone. I was just surfing down the local beach, the closest one to the campus east, and um, dolphins right next to me, catching the wave with me. It was absolutely amazing. And of course I didn't have my GoPro with me, but I came in and they're still climbing on the beach. I'm gonna take the drone down, hopefully fly it, show you guys the local beach and the dolphins, it's pretty awesome, yeah. Dolphins, every time I see them, they just, I love swimming with them, I love playing with them, I'll splash and stuff, and I don't know, I wish I could pat them, but you know, they're wild animals. So yeah, I'll charge this quickly, get down there, hopefully they're still there playing, and yeah, I'll see you there.
How sick was that? A few dolphins, I think I counted at least 30. Weren't that playful, but yeah, that's still pretty cool. I didn't have that much batch on my drone, so I couldn't stay out there for long. I probably shouldn't be out here in just boardies, but I ran down with my GoPro, my goggles, and my flippers. Just in case if they were out the front here, I could just swim out and film them. I keep skipping the video because I keep coughing. Anyway, they're pretty far out there. So I'm just gonna wait for a bit. It's nice in the sun though. If they come out the front here, I'll swim out. If not, then we'll just let them be. Because they, they are a bit far out, probably, for me. All right, they don't want to be a part of my uni vlog, so stuff them. <laughs> I tried to get to them, but they kind of, I don't know. I should have just took my GoPro for a surf, and I wouldn't have to worry about this. I'm still very sick, probably too sick to vlog, but getting it done, that's all that matters. For anyone asking, I'm doing marine science at uni. Had a lot of questions. And yeah, I don't know where it'll take me, but we'll just we'll just see what happens to see if I get to the three years or not. But yeah, it's been a good start, a couple of weeks. I hated school, that's one thing about me. I did just hate school. I did try my hardest, but I still hated it. The first day that I didn't have to go to school was like the best day of my life. And that's when I started doing the offshore adventures as basically as soon as I finished school. The uni's a bit different, I have a lot of free time. Probably gonna be hard in the school, but at least, at least I get a lot of free time. That's the main thing enough free time to do this offshore adventures thing. Day two, feeling a fair bit better. I'm basically 100% almost. I'm a bit, got a bit of shit in my nose still, but it's all good. I was gonna film fishing when I just fished off the rocks, but I forgot my little screws. I caught a bonito, <laughs> I put a photo there. I'm just jumping in for a swim now, because this is probably where I'm first gonna dive. Obviously I'm not diving, but I'll jump in for a snorkel, see if I can equalize, and then we'll go from there, because I've got all day free today. No uni whatsoever on a Thursday, so we'll jump in the water, see you in the drink.
Good morning everyone. It's a beautiful day here at Wollongong. My first morning for a dive, I'm pretty sure. Lachlan from All Things Oceans coming down here. We'll talk in a second about what we're gonna do. And we'll go from there, maybe take the boat out, maybe rock up, but it doesn't matter. Cause I'm just keen to get in the water, do some spear fishing and hopefully get some, get some fish. Beautiful day today. I'm with Luke and Lockie. We're going out. I don't know if this is, this is a secret spot. Get on down low. Anyway, some of you guys might not be able to know where it is, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Got an already swell and wind up. But yeah, hopping in, looks pretty clear, looks good for a dive. Most of you guys might not know this, but Lockie was actually the first person to take me out when I did my first ever catch and cook. And I don't know, maybe I would have never got into this if it wasn't for you, Lockie. So thanks for that, mate. Uh, but, uh, no so hopefully we'll get a few good fish, and I guess I'll see you guys in the water. Phew! Didn't care for one another, you and I, you and I Thought I was okay, till something in me changed Don't know why, don't know why You got me high, but I'm sober You make me lonely when I'm by myself cruising out a little bit wider. I was following Harry and then all of a sudden a school of rats came through. Didn't even have time to turn the GoPro on. I just did a little duck dive and then just went down and shot it. Pretty low shot. I ended up getting Harry to second shot it just, just in case it did get off. But um, yeah, really stoked on that. It's gonna make some really good sashimi later. Eww. And Luke got one. I got zero, I missed. <laughs> Spill it. <laughs> So pretty successful dive today, not on my behalf. I only ended up with the one tiny little blue mile. It was a pretty cool shot, but with the shark, I just thought, oh, it's a great nurse shark. I'll take a take an easy shot of the blue mile and almost tore out there. But yeah, favorite fish, only a little one, but yeah, all I can claim today. Anyway, the other boys, Luke got his first kingy. Nice little rat, but still awesome fish. Lockie got a bit bigger one and I missed another kingy. A few other reef species and the boys got some nice craze as well. So yeah, pretty good dive. I think we're gonna head back to Lockie's house and um, have some sashimi. And yeah, congratulations boys on your keys. Yeah, hey, Lukey, first kingy, mate. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so good. Lockie and I are doing one fillet each. If you watched his video already, you would have seen him filleting. I've got to show him up. <laughs> no, he did a pretty good job filleting. Harry's got slightly different tackers to me, but I'm interested to see how he goes with it. He's got the harder side of the fish because I've already taken a fillet off. It's looking pretty good, mate. A lot of people get a bit nervous filleting big fish, but you just know if you stuff it up, you can always scoop it out or something. 
And if you have an Sashimi, it wouldn't, won't matter if it's scooped out or if it's off the fillet. Everyone's got different techniques to filleting. There's no right or wrong way. If you get most of the fillet, that's all that really matters. Try not to waste any. The key is having a pretty good knife, eh? Yeah. Would you get like yours again? Clean angle bait is bad. 30 bucks. <laughs> Go and get one yourself. Boom. About a 9 out of 10 job. 9 out of 10. Very humble. <laughs> <laughs> yours is probably better already. <laughs> Yeah, we are taking the wings off like you have them. Yeah, for sure. So the wings, you got heaps of meat in there. I won't have any, but if you put a, put a bit of oil on there, heat it up, you get real crispy skin there. Heat the scales, and you just pick through the bones, and it's really nice. Delicious. So it has. Lockie's just cutting up the fillets. We took the blood out, just because it's not as nice as the white meat. <laughs> and what are we having? What three sauces? Ah, uh, we got. We're gonna put some soya sauce and sesame oil in that one, just like a little bit of a mix up, and then sriracha and cupy mayo in that one. So we'll have two sauces running. Sounds good. So we are doing this cracker thing. We're gonna try it on crackers with avocado and maybe a bit of soy sauce. I've heard that's pretty good, and we're just gonna have some raw. I've never done a sashimi episode, I've done shavechi and sushi rolls, but this will be first. So I just can't seem to get the kingies, but lucky Lop came back. <laughs> you got friends. <laughs> I'm gonna slice these abos up, probably like similar thicknesses to what we did the sashimi, just there. We're gonna do a soy and a soy and sesame oil one. And then we're gonna do a soy sesame oil and some little skit chili mix that <laughs> one of my housemates has. Not for, for me. Is um some Balinese. Woo. How spicy? Yeah, so you think it's spicy? spicy? Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Lockie wants me to do the first taste, even though I missed all the kingies out there today. We've got two different crackers. We'll try this one first. First time sashimi, I think for me. Anyway, the crackers first time. That's pretty nice. Yeah, not bad. I hope they're really good. The cracker and the sauce and avo kind of makes it like you're not eating raw fish. Completely different texture to what I thought. Real good. 10 out of 10, Lockie. Yeah. Thanks for cooking. <laughs> Just finished up lunch at Lockie's house. Cheers, mate, for a good lunch. No worries, mate. <laughs> I don't think it was as good as, as, good as mine. <laughs> My breadcrumbs, but yeah, no, it was pretty damn good. Sashimi, good as. We did have lobster and abalone with a couple of his mates, and yeah, that was good. We didn't film that, but, but the sashimi was the main part of this video. Heaps good. Kingy. 10 out of 10. We'll give it 10 out of 10. I just want to say another big thank you to Lockie for taking me today. First dive here. And yeah, like I said, if it wasn't for him and his brother Bray, I might have never even got into this. So yeah, we'll do more videos soon while I'm up here. And yeah, you might have saw the new hats. They are coming soon. I know a lot of you guys ask about where I get my hat from. Well, I did a deal with the people who make this hat. Got a select number of these, chuck my logo on, embroidered. And yeah, it's a pretty damn good surf hat and fishing hat. You know, mine's lasted ages. And yeah, we'll try and get these out soon. I don't know when yet, but yeah, get keen if you want one because there are only a certain number of hats. But yeah, we'll get to that later. Anyway, cheers again, Lockie. No worries, Thanks bro. for having Anytime. me. Anytime. Plenty more collaborations to come. And guys, forgot to mention, Lockie and his brother Bray have a channel called All Things Ocean. I'll put it, the link below. You guys click that, press the subscribe, give them some clout. Phew. We'll see you next time. Getting a bit lonely in the shop, Anthony. Hmm? When they came past me, I missed. <laughs> Hey, that was sick.